Hi folks, good to be back. My wife and I have been suffering a little bit of ill health in the last couple of months, but we're back on board. So thank you, Lord, for that. Recently, I came across one of the YouTube short videos. In it, a, a very eloquently spoken, well-dressed pastor was stating boldly that if anybody calls themselves a prophet, run away as fast as you can, get as far away as you can. All the prophets that have ever, ever have been, have already been and are listed in the Bible already. Now, I'm not denying that the Bible is the first place you should go to understand prophetically what's happening in the world today. But I wanted to test that a little bit with the scriptures before we go on. It's pertinent to today's video. So just with in the scriptures themselves. We'll go firstly to 1 Corinthians chapter 12 and we'll test what that pastor was telling his congregation because they were all behind him in the congregation speaking up as he said this. But here it is, chapter 12, there are different kinds of gifts, but the same spirit distributes them. And it goes on in verse seven. Now each one, the manifestation of the spirit is given for the common good. And there it is right here, and the, after the list of spiritual gifts is to another miraculous powers, to another prophecy. There it is. And he gives it out just as he determines. Here is Joel chapter 2. The Lord will pour out his spirit and it shall to come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh and your sons and daughters shall prophesy. There it is. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. Well, what sort of dreams would the old men be dreaming? Well, prophetic dreams. And your young men shall see visions. What sort of visions? Well, they would be prophetic visions. This is very pertinent to today's video because also in recent times this pastor philip barnett video uh, come to me and i looked at it and it was very pertinent indeed i'd like to give you a little bit of a background of this guy i'll leave the link to this video in the descriptions so please go and look at this video as well it's very very important that you do and then we'll go through it with me and how it connects to the stuff that I've given you over the years, or the Lord indeed has allowed me to give you over the years. So this Pastor Philip Barnett, a little bit of background, he has uh, spent many, many years, decades indeed, in Ukraine and raised a family there, was a pastor starting churches all over Ukraine. Early in the 1990s, he had a dream and he woke up and didn't write it down, forgot it. And it wasn't until about 15 years later, I think 2007, that he had this dream again. And he already recognized that he had this dream once before. The prophetic dream that he'd been given now twice. Indeed, over the time that he was having these dreams, these prophetic dreams, he indeed had 17 dreams. And I really want you to remember that number, 17. And part thereof, what he was giving out as he was preaching about this particular dream as in the dream he'd seen this very dark section of Ukraine here that the Russians would come in and invade Ukraine in this particular area. One of the areas that uh, this pastor said about this dream that he could see it started in the Donetsk region which is just here right at Donbass. Also he saw many nuclear explosions going off in this darkened area and he states that there were united states nuclear weapons going off in this area of ukraine here is where it starts to cross over to what i've also given you over the years in my own stuff because at 2014 some of you might remember a malaysian airlines flight 17 being shot down over ukraine and what was the number again? It was flight 17, MH17, that was shot down over Ukraine. And in a few years back, 
I also did a lot of work on MH17, showing you some unbelievable stuff that the Lord had given me. So now I just want to show you how well that fits into the darkened region here of Pastor Philip Burnett's prophetic dream and the area that I was also giving you for MH17. Same area, guys. We've got information here that I've given you over the years. This is a radar screen from Kiev Control because this aeroplane was under Kiev air traffic control at the time of its shooting. And it was at 33,000 feet, which is a, 33 is a very occult number. It's a Boeing 777-200 series. And it just happened to be doing 900 or 911 kilometers an hour the moment that it was shot down. Now, we all know from the occultists that they love to use the lightning bolt or the number 777 uh, as depicting the lightning bolt because that's their guy. The Satanists, that's their guy. If we understand where it comes from, because they use the Bible just as we do. And he said unto them, and this is Jesus speaking, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. I just left this verse 19 in here to, to give us some hope, because behold, I give you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. So what I'm telling you today, do not fear. This is just getting you up to speed. And anybody that hasn't yet accepted the Lord Jesus Christ, well, you probably want to show them this sort of stuff. Just help wake them up. Okay, so getting back to these guys. These guys use 777 as depicting lightning from heaven. And this was a Boeing 777. Would that be just a coincidence? Or is this some sort of prophetic insight that I've given you over the years? Here it is, a Boeing 777, and it just happened. It just happened to fly at 911 kilometers an hour when it was shot from the sky. And it just happened to land here on 777 feet. And it was a Boeing 777. It's pretty hard to believe that all of that could be there, but it is, and it's real. And it just so happens that that very spot that it crashed on, there is a, a demonic face in the ground on the topography there that's no longer there. It was only there for a very short time with this demonic tail on it. The letter G, as we know, is the seventh letter of the alphabet. And in the Strongs, that means destruction. There was an airplane destroyed here. And where was this? Well, let's just take a look. Here is the crash site. This guy said it was starting in Donbass, his, his prediction of war. And here is a crash site, and here is Donbass. How far away is it? Just 3.33 miles, triple three. There is another very occultic number. It happens to be 42 degrees from Donbass to the crash site. 42 is the number of months uh, that the Antichrist will take rule. It also in this area before this crash 42 days before this crash i sent an email to a friend after the mh370 disappearance which was another malaysian airlines triple seven that i said the next name for the next event and i had no idea what that event would be just that the lord was leading me to a name involved with the next event that would start with the letter h it would be a consonant the second letter and that's how we would know that we were given uh, the correct place and name for the event and here is the name of the village is Rabove Rabove H R A B O V E and it's exactly 3.33 miles this stuff is beyond uh, the human brain to try and say how does this happen back in 2018 on Facebook uh, on the fourth anniversary of this crash, I put this up. It's the fourth anniversary of Malaysian Airlines Flight 17 being shot down over Ukraine. I was on a Malaysian Airlines flight between Kuala Lumpur and Adelaide, Australia, when it occurred. I was going to Adelaide to share my accurate informational predictive insights into Malaysian Airlines Flight 370, which had mysteriously disappeared four months earlier. 
When I say my insights, I lay no claim to them for the self. I'm simply a delivery boy. The message of which in toto, I believe, is wake up sleeper, come out of the darkness into the light, the trouble is about to begin. Now, how prophetically accurate was that statement? So let's try and shed some more light on this incident. The date of the incident in 2014 was the seventh month on the 17th day. The date of the aircraft first flight after it was manufactured was in 1997, was on the 7th month and the 17th day. The elapsed time in years exactly between those two is 17 years. The days into the year was 197, the 197th day of 2014. And you add those up, 1 plus 9 plus 7, equals 17 the seconds into the in the millions into that year was 17 million seconds from the beginning of 2014 till the day it crashed the boeing aircraft type was a triple seven and the elevation of the wreckage was 777 feet accurate predictions 42 days earlier of the two letters of the village named robove where wreckage came to rest I mean, that's just beyond crazy, guys, but it's real and we've got it before us to contemplate. That shows Pastor Philip Barnett's prophetic dream was very accurate and it's still playing out. It hasn't completed yet and we'll go through a little bit more of it now. But as far as him noting that where they were coming to Ukraine, this was 2007 he began preaching on this all around Ukraine. And everybody said he was crazy there uh, at that time. But it's turned out to be prophetically accurate, his dream. And the second part of his video sh shows more of the, obviously, the 17 dreams he had, included nuclear weapons going off in the United States. And I heard in the spirit as I was watching his video to take note of where they all were. So let's just go through them for a start. The first one, he said, goes off in Chicago. The second one in Milwaukee or above, he said that was an airburst above Milwaukee. He went on to show that there was St. Louis, Cleveland, Memphis, Nashville, New Orleans, uh, Little Rock, Denver, Colorado, Albuquerque, and in the northeast, it was Boston as well. There was Washington. But I was told to note them all down and plot them. I did. And here they all are. So we've got New Orleans, Little Rock, Memphis, Nashville, St. Louis, Milwaukee, Chicago, Cleveland, Baltimore, Washington, New York, Boston, Denver, and Albuquerque here. As I'd done so, I heard in the spirit to join them all up. And that's the type of thing that I came up with. And it didn't really make any sense. And then I heard in the spirit leave out east and west and go round the rest. And so as I left out east and west, which would be Albuquerque and Boston, I heard the Spirit to join them up afterwards. So it was leave out east and west and go round the rest. This is the pattern that I came up with. So we've got Albuquerque and Boston over here. And I started in New Orleans and went up to Denver and I just went round them and went round the rest. And I saw immediately something I'd seen before. And this is the upside down pyramid that the Lord had me draw way back in the end of 2013, 2014, before MH370 went missing and MH17 got shot down. I'd already had this drawn up. So thank you, Lord, for giving me that uh, prophetic insight even though I didn't even know that it was prophetic at that stage. So far from me that I'm calling myself any sort of prophet, I just get insight and sometimes it connects up much, much later to give me the understanding of what the Lord has given me. Okay, so here we go. We join up Boston and Albuquerque as the last two. And what do you know? It goes right through Cleveland. There they all connect. If we go from this place in Milwaukee where... This pastor said that there was an airburst over the top 
through to where MH17 got shot down in Ukraine. Here is a depiction of it on Google Earth from that spot right through to Ukraine over here on the top right. What's the direction? 33.3 degrees. There is your triple three again from when I've shown you the previous one for this MH17 to Donbass which this pastor said this is the place it will start and he had 17 dreams to put it all together and that is 3.33 miles once again the numbers keep on repeating 17 and triple three and 42 and seeing what the pastor was giving I'd already done this many many years ago I'd drawn a circle around touching the various points of my upside down pyramid because I had a friend called Eddie which uh, you'll see you'll hear that in the video I've got on Godzilla that he brought me right here to a nuclear power station right in this area so I knew for a long time and I was told to go and see the, the movie Godzilla and it was Godzilla going nuclear I heard, in the movie so I knew from various things here that this area had something to do with nuclear and so I assumed maybe it's a nuclear burst as well and so I put a circle around this uh, many years ago to try and figure out what areas of the United States would be likely to be affected it was only after that that I found that the authorities had also put out one illustrative effects of an EMP and what do you know it covers almost the same area it's a little bit offset from mine this is one one over the other but almost the same area that we came up with uh, but this one is a little further east just a little bit uh, so it's very very uh, amazing how years before I did that having got insight uh, into it so is this prophetic insight given pastor Philip Barnett and myself both getting very very similar stuff he got it in a dream and I just got it from insight okay so why Malaysian Airlines why is United States being connected up with Malaysian Airlines both an MH370 going missing and then another MH17 being shot down in Ukraine and Ukraine is now top of the news well, let's have a look at the two flags the United States flag and the Malaysian flag side by side isn't that incredible let's just grab one and put it over the other and see what you're looking at have a look what Islam says about that the the meaning of the prophecy the Sun shall rise from the West and this is written in 1891 so the Muslims have known for a very long time what this quite possibly means to them and in 1891 shortly after establishing this Muslim community here and announcing his advent of the latter-day Messiah Misra Ghulam Ahmad wrote in his book removal of doubts I certainly believe in the rising of the Sun from the West that said it has been disclosed to me in a vision that the meaning of the rising of the Sun from the West is that the Western countries which from ancient times have been enveloped in the darkness and disbelief and error will be illuminated by the Son of the truth and will partake in Islam well that's what I saw there we know that this fellow called Barack Obama had a logo with the Sun rising over the American flag and we're pretty all, all much uh, aware now of his religion so I don't think we need to question that too far to now I don't think anybody denies he's the voice behind this one and now the Sun has risen okay for thou shalt said in thine heart I will ascend into heaven I will exalt my throne above the stars of God I'll sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north who's that well that's Lucifer boasting I will exalt my throne above the stars of God and finally guys I'd like to show you something that I've known for many years we were told that MH17 at the time 
air traffic control was controlling MH17 all those years ago and back in 2014 told us that there was weather on track and that is why MH17 diverted around the weather and was supposedly shot down. We know who's been blamed, but air traffic control from Kiev directed this aircraft to fly over here. And they said the excuse was weather or clouds in the way. But my investigation with a friend called Andy showed that the three preceding aircraft flew right down that track without any diversions or deviations around weather, and the three aircraft after it did exactly the same. It was only MH17 that was picked off, had its altitude changed to 33,000 feet, a speed of 911 kilometers an hour, and then was shot out of the sky to land on 777 feet. Now, I'm telling you all of this because I want to give you the same warnings here as Pastor Phil Barnett here, that if you do not know Jesus Christ yet, then it's time you did. Because this if this prophecy has partly come correct for this man already, and it absolutely finger in glove connects with all of mine. So please get to know Jesus right now. Get on your knees, confess your sins, and then let him do the rest. And do not fear. Do not fear. He tells us many times in the scriptures, do not fear. Peace and grace, my friends.